Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this CBSQ game here. We've got the gold medal game. We've got it between the Southport School and Brisbane State High. This is it. This is the last few days of competition have come down to this one. And my name is Mal, the big dog Crawford from Ball Don't Lie Australia podcast and of course the official NBL1 head coach of the Seahawks. Jordan, how you doing, mate? Mate, good. It's going to be a heck of a game, though. It definitely is, mate. And where else would you want to be on a Sunday afternoon? But uh, none other than Coomera Indoor Sports Centre, mate. It's, uh, it's been an incredible four days of basketball. We see a, uh, a rivalry that has uh, become somewhat of a uh, ongoing development over the last few years between two GPS schools in Brisbane State High and, and TSS, or otherwise known as the Southport School. So, yeah. Exciting matchup here between probably the two best teams in the state. We saw this matchup in the CBSQ Opens. Obviously, we're here for the junior secondary tournament, but yeah, excited for uh, for tip off. And tippity whippity boo, we are underway. And TSS are going to come down with it. And we've got Indy Cotton bringing the ball up. And he was off on representative duties for the Opens game, but is here for this one. And if the warm-up is anything to go by, uh, these young gentlemen are going to be looking to fire inside and slam down some uh, absolute hammer dunks, which hopefully we get to see some highlights here today. Some highlight reel dunks would be nice. Yeah, both teams have athletes across the board. It's going to be about their ability to get out and transition, take each other out of things and, and see who can execute in the half court as well as... Uh, be a little bit disciplined defensively because they've got some studs on both sides of the floor. So we'll uh, we'll see who uh, who throws the first punch. But keep an eye on this young man, Indy Cotton. Recently part of the Australian Under-16 team that went to uh, FIBA Oceania tournament. As we see, Hedison shoot the three, long two, and yeah, for me. For TSS, Mal, it starts and ends with Indy Cotton, how he performs, how he gets the ball moving, his ability to finish around the rim as we see a nice right-handed scoop layup, rejecting the on-ball, but also, more importantly, his ability to get his teammates involved. High IQ basketball player. We see Cecil with the long three. TSS coming down with a long rebound through the safe hands of Jaden Bibby. Around. Nice move. Going base. Lovely cover there from Peterson once more. Yeah, Ash McGrath will be known to Peterson, former Logan Jr., who made the switch to Gold Coast a year or two ago and, and joined the joined the Southport School and plays representative basketball, I believe now for Gold Coast. Lefty can shoot the ball. Another block there from State High. It ends up in the hands of McGrath for the three. And that hits nothing but the bottom of the net. Yeah, Southport School out to a 5-0 to lead here in this one. Took that back in. Once again, comes down to those safe hands of Bibby. Totten. For something to come. Using that one out of bounds, though. With the defensive pressure of Peterson, was well, James Burdett. Brisbane stayed high. Chucking this back in. TSS. Right. Defensive pressure all the way up the court. Court at least. It's going to be TSS ball. And look for TSS to do that. Just bring the defensive pressure. And not allow it I think to, to let up. Lowridge got, got away with one there, I thought. He reached in and the referee didn't see it. Too late. Jordan Cecil. Knocking that one out of bounds. TSS ball. Cotton. Three balls up. Can't get that one to go. Down, picked up, unable to be put back in by Lockbridge. So in the contact with the first line, survived it. Second line of Bibby said no. Bridge 
Diving in, will be fouled and go to the free throw line. Bump on the head, according to the referee. Interestingly, Mal, Jones is getting the matchup on Cotton and Cecil is getting the matchup on Ash McGrath. So they're sending the length of Jones to Cotton because obviously he is a, a longer, bigger guard at the point spot. But, you know, the last possession on that Horns action, they go under the on ball. And I don't know if that's necessarily a wise move on Indy Cotton. If you, if you give him three feet to shoot the ball, he's going to shoot it. And whilst he fell short on that one and, and they end up with the, uh, the offensive rebound, it's, uh, it's not how you want to start giving Indy Cotton wide open looks. No, it, it certainly isn't. He's had a, a great couple of months in basketball and looking to continue that here today. As we have our first time out through Brisbane State High, they find themselves with zero points on the board. TSS with six, with 4.52 left here in the first quarter. Still early, but obviously want to get things reset and ready to go. I, for mine, to, uh, what do uh, Brisbane State I need to do to uh, you know, get back into this one early, mate? Right now, right now they need to uh, they need to execute offensively and get ball movement, ball movement as much as possible because at, at the moment it's stagnant offense, it's early offense, it's one-two passes. They really need to challenge the defense of TSS. They're not playing a zone, so which is. Unusual for TSS, they typically have been known to play 2-3 zones and just sit in the zone and a 1-2-2 press back into that 2-3 zone and that's all you see them in. So, um, And funnily enough, coming out of timeout, I think that's what you're going to see. But yeah, if I'm to state high right now, I'm, I'm looking for ball movement, player movement and try and get multiple dip, dribble penetrations. Okay. Peterson, he'll be right there. Works his way in. First one's up, can't get it to go, tracks it down. Indy Cotton comes down with a rebound for TSS. And instantly both teams, as soon as Indy Cotton grabbed that possession, both teams turned and legged it. Indy Cotton, gets the Indy Cotton two works his way down into the paint, though, and gets it in for TSS. That's two points, two extras. That's now an 8-0 to zero lead. Three-point shot is up by Peterson, tracked down by Antonio Tantino. That was almost Tentino and BSS. Uh, sorry, Brisbane State High's first points. Tentino Clamarca will find himself on the free throw line. Is that one well short? It reminds myself of. Uh, me on a state league free throw line, my very first game. For first free throw, uh, forgot to bend the knees, just like the young fella did on that first one. Driving in, gets it to go. As Ash McGrath, he comes up a little bit, a little bit ginger on that uh, left leg there. Already an extra skin on that. Looks like he's going to stay on and shake it off. He's tweaked his ankle on that one. Maybe. That swatted out of bounds on the way past. After he himself did that. Stayed high. Three ball is up, shorts it. If he can't come down with it. Instead, Scott Harrison comes away with it quickly. <clears throat> Three ball is up. Cecil can't get that one to drop. Tracked down by Brisbane. Going to send Jasper Jones to the free throw line. Fouls on number 11, Jaden Diddy's his first personal. Jones rocking a nice pair of uh, LeBron 20s there. I think those are the South Beaches. Splashes the first. Opens the scoring here for Brisbane State High. Ten points to one. TSS with the lead. It'll just be the one point for Brisbane State High. But even one point from a psychological point of view is way better than that zero, that bagel on the scoreboard. TSS fighting hard inside. Indy Cotton 
Number three shorts it. Comes down with Brisbane State High and they're looking to push straight away. Peterson driving into the paint. Big body. Slapped away. Indy's going to go. Indy Cotton who goes upstairs for the two-handed fist. Indy Cotton with the Puts that down. <coughs> and you got to think, mate, from the energy in this in this crowd, are, are they just used to that kind of thing? Like, oh, I, I think I think being on the North Gold Coast, mate, uh, <laughs> it's got a very Gold Coast Rollers kind of environment <laughs> to it, mate. We're in North Gold Coast Seahawks territory, mate, and. There'll be, there'll be, and I can see a number of families and friends of State High. So, uh, yeah, there's, there's probably a more common trend to, to being on the State High side rather than the, uh, the TSS side. Funnily enough, I know a couple of years ago when this tournament was at, uh, at Carrara, it was a very different environment, very much like a home court advantage to TSS. But we're, we're in North Gold Coast neck of the woods, mate. Peterson, what's that one up? Bibby earlier with the SWAT. Cotton once more as we dip below two and a half minutes here left in the first. Oh, just the right amount of English there from Ash McGrath. On the reverse, spins it aggressively off the glass. Cecil lost control of that one. He will be fouled though. I think that's going to be baseline ball. Yep. That's going to be Jaden Bibby's second foul. He's going to check out of the game. And James Burdett is going to check back in for TSS. Peterson going to work inside. Can't get the drop. Snatches it out of the hands, though. And puts it back in. And that is, I was going to say, Brisbane State High's first points from the floor, which it was. But TSS going quickly the other way in transition. Yeah, you can't give you can't work that hard to get two points and then give it give it straight back to the other team as we see a nice spin move at the cup there for Archie Lister. Lister. Yeah, Lister. Wow. good patience and poise to get two feet set and then spin back, pivot, finish with the left and get the contact to the head. But yeah, you just can't you can't be working that hard on the offensive end and then just have that lapse defensively because Indy Cotton's a an experienced point guard and he knows how to make you pay and if his guys run the floor like you just saw he's going to feed them inside Burnett just couldn't get it to go off the glass had position open basket in front it's it up one can't drop Lister once more going to work hands and bodies flying around him Almost wings on his feet there from those mellows. Just allowing him to stay untouched, stay airborne. Well, I say untouched. He's on the free throw line, so someone got him. Or at least the referees thought so, mate. Indeed. Oh, that's true. That's true. That's true. Speaking of the referees, you'll notice one with a black string on their lanyard and the other one with a green. Just a reminder at all, uh, <coughs> at all venues. Queensland now, if that green lanyard is there, that means the referee is under 18. So please keep that in mind when you are talking to all referees. Obviously, always use respect when talking to referees, but if they are wearing that green lanyard, it does mean they are under the age of 18. And congratulations as well to uh, Briar Lee Tahara and Alex Scheiss for being granted the final here. Indy Cotton hard inside, getting that one up and over Archie Lister. Nine, yeah. I was gonna say nine points. Well, that's now going to be 11 points with the opportunity for an extra one. Cecil? Interesting minute eight here for TSS because they're in foul trouble. So seven point ball game, but the ill discipline of TSS defensively has allowed State High to build some momentum here and just get back into this game. They started firing early and cuts like that are going to help State High having to work extra hard to get their offensive looks on the offensive glass. 
Alexander Walker there with a great finish for TSS. Peterson gets that three ball to drop, finally. It's probably the easiest look they've had all day, Mal. 14 plays, 20 with 35 seconds to go here in this CBSQ Junior Secondary Final. And that one will count as well for Indy Cotton. Getting the congratulations from his teammates. Yeah, Brisbane State High definitely ooh, fighting their way back into this one. It was TSS had the strong start. Brisbane State High not allowing them to get on with it though. Next up, back, back to Archie Lister now. On to work once more. One, two. Peterson at the top. Sit it up. It's going to miss to the right. Lovely find inside, though, from Jaden Rogers. Tracks down the miss from his teammate. Cleans up extra two points. Just like that, we're back to 16 to 22. Got a stepping out of bounds by the look of it. That's going to be Marsden's ball with 1.5 seconds left on the... Oh, sorry, Marsden. Brisbane State High. The ball is up. It is just a little bit off to the left. Didn't look bad out of the hands. Had the distance, but did not drop in the end for Brisbane State High as we go into first quarter time. Quick score check. 16 points to Brisbane State High. 22 points to TSS. Mate, Brisbane State High did, didn't do a bad job late of fighting their way back into, uh, back into this game. They didn't, and it was... Uh, yeah, it was really well done, but it was done out of second and third efforts on the offensive end and an ability to get out and transition where possible. So, you know, punishing the misses of TSS and then trying to exploit them defensively in transition and, and attack them. But, yeah, giving up that early lead has made it a little bit harder. Uh, they, they did find some hope in the fact that they got stops and then also challenge the defense of TSS, forcing them into foul trouble and extra rotation. So, yeah, if they can get more of the same and probably have a little bit more momentum and eagerness and, and assertiveness early in this second quarter, they might peg this lead back and level it up, and that's what they'll be hoping to do rather than play catch-up basketball. As we're back underway here in the second quarter, Archie Lister driving his way. Just even though he's a little bit shorter, seems to be able to find good spaces uh, and get his shot up around these larger defenders who seem to be in front of him. Cotton at the top once more. Looking for things to evolve. Ash McGrath. Kicks it around to Burdett. Back to Cotton. McGrath three. That's an air ball. Archie Lister comes down with that rebound strong. Tries to kick it across. Tracked back down. Go once more. It's to the free throw elbow. And Archie Lister made himself a really strong couple of minutes here for Brisbane State High. Yeah, State High gone to that zone and it's disrupted a little bit as, as expected. And now all of a sudden TSS have got to find an answer. It through. That was a difficult pass to find Indy Cotton, but does. He can't finish. Peterson comes down with the rebound. Tipped out there. That's going to be Brisbane State High. Ash McGrath got out of jail there. I thought he got he fouled him twice. So Eli Murray pushing the, pushing the ball and tempo, running the floor, and Ash McGrath did enough to knock it out of bounds. Stop. <laughs> And we go through the hand, Cecil. That is a long, long three ball. Quite from out the, uh, out the side of Dreamworlds, but it was close. And it looks pure straight out of the hand. Good pass once more, Nash McGrath. Gets himself into the paint. Doesn't drop. We'll be heading to the free throw line for two, though. Be able to shake off that tweaked uh, left ankle from earlier. First one drops. 
And just like that, we're all tied up here at 23 apiece. 6.23 left. TSS now take a one-point lead. The lead was as much as 10 at one point. Peterson's going to lose that one out of bounds. Just turned and looked before he'd actually caught the ball. Easy to do. Right. Ready to get top now for something to evolve. Cotton puts up the three ball. It's long. Tracked down by Archie Lister. Peterson now. Cleaned up. Randy Cotton. Got to think he's going upstairs and does. Very similar to his last one. Oh, wouldn't say much more than a golf clap here inside the stadium. Oh, can't get that one to go. Turnovers from State High giving TSS easy looks in transition. It's up in the air. Get it to go. This one stayed high. Almost had it. Fell between three players and Indy Cotton scoops it up for TSS. Kicked it around. Three ball is up. And splashes. Three points for Will Pickett. And Fridge knocks that one down. Kicks it down. Corner three was on there for a moment. Peterson at the top. Ten seconds left in the shot clock. Just fire in the air, drove all the way to the basket and gets it to go, does Peterson. Solid job fighting through the contact as it came. And finishing at the glass. Strong move by Peterson. Jeffrey's at the line for the extra. Shortens it up to a four-point game. As we see Bibi checking back in for TSS. And Ryder Lynch taking a seat. Peterson knocks this one down. Will be one possession lead for TSS, which it is. TSS remained with the ball with 4.44 left here in the first half of basketball. CBSQ Junior Secondary Gold Medal Finals for Division 1. Peterson's going to pick up that foul. Now send Indy Cotton to the free throw line once more. It's only Peterson's first foul. Very seeming to uh, let the boys playing here a little bit today. It's good to see, mate. It's uh, it's unusual to see Indy Cotton though miss a free throw. Um, he hasn't knocked one down from the, room, the perimeter yet, which is uh, somewhat concerning. But at the same time, if you're a TSS, you know it's going to come. Mm. It's just a matter of time. As we see, nice drive from Lister, who shoots it. He could have got that. He actually could have picked that up because it was yeah. a shot, but thought he couldn't. But, yeah, unusual. Indy doing his work at the glass and facilitating like that. But he will be due. Yeah, and I think Brisbane State High have a feeling he's going to catch fire from range at some point during this game as well. It's Bibby using his own forehead to try and bring in that rebound. Cotton. He's going to get himself to the free throw line once more. Peterson's going to pick up his second foul in quick succession. Foul is on number 12, Jeffrey Peterson, his second personal Substitutions, Jasper Jones and Jenna Green on the court. Indy on the free throw line once more. Splashes that first one. <laughs> and the second as well. Quick score check. We've got 26 points to third place, 32. TSS with the lead. Cecil, it's the floater up. Can't get it to drop. McGrath comes away with it quickly. Four defenders in front of him. He attracts almost all of them. Gets it up. We'll be heading to the free throw line for an extra. Points 
are good. Foul is on number 10, Jaden Cecil, his first personal. Jaden Cecil picks that one up for the Brisbane State High. Knocks down the free throw as well. Scott Harrison's going to check in for Brisbane State High. So he's going to take a seat. 3.38 left here in the first half. This gold medal Div 1 game. Brisbane State High and TSS. Lovely manoeuvre there. <coughs> Excuse me, by Eli Murray. Nice crossover to his right. Finished the floater in the paint. Andy Cotton. It was like we've seen that uh, him do the same thing last three times up the court. Well, someone's got to check the scout now because he's scored the last three times. So it's um, something that they've got to address. You can't close out. We talk about it as coaches. You, you know, the old school reference was when you close out force baseline, but you know, coaching terminologies change, and obviously, you know, players now are athletic enough and quick enough to be able to get baseline and score on you. So, you know, for a lot of a lot of us, it's it's. Close out for sideline corner. Don't give up the baseline drive, which, as we've just seen, it can be highly effective for the offensive player. Matthew Lister lines up the three ball. Bibby with the tip to Cotton. He gets it back to McGrath. TSS look to push. State High do a good job of getting back, though. And he's setting in their zone. Lovely hands there by Scott Harrison. He's waiting for an extra bit of help, then goes himself. Can't get it to drop. TSS come away with it. And it just starts to dip below. Two minutes, 30 seconds left here in the first half. Kicked all the way out to Ben Dalka. To McGrath. This is the Bibby screen. Looks inside, finds Cotton, who gets it up, but is fouled. And will once again head to the free throw line. It's cutting, ba uh, cutting to the baseline this time as opposed to driving. But same result for TSS and Indy Cotton. He's on the free throw line. And this is the first on that one. Seven point lead currently for TSS. Make that eight point lead. State high, going backwards to go forwards there for a second. And it's going to be TSS ball from the side, right in front of their bench. Absolutely loving it. Coach Brendan Legasic loved every moment of that. TSS. Right, just waiting. Randa Cotton, there's that three ball, splashes it. Three points for it was coming. It was, it but you, ca you can't you can't let the guy like that get a wide open look with no pressure at all. It just is asking for trouble. As we see a nice response from Lister, who's been somewhat of a catalyst for them in terms of their energy le levels for State High. But yeah, you can't let any Indy Cotton cut through the keyway without getting touched, and then shoot a three. As we see Ash McGrath knock down a big three from the top of the arc, and all of a sudden it's a 13 point lead here in the second. And State High have got to, got to make some changes. Look, they certainly do. Um, they fought their way back into it, levelled it up, had a one-point lead at one stage. But uh, TSS have been able to re-stretch this thing out, out to their biggest lead of 13 points. And, mate, what exactly do uh, Brisbane State High need to do? And coming out of this time out, they've got a minute 37 left of game time, coming into half. They don't need to eat up this entire 13-point lead, but surely they've got to be uh, positive and make some inroads. Yeah, I'd, I wouldn't be surprised if they go to a man. I, I mean, I, I would be asking them to go to a man, but I mean, if they're going to stay with the zone, then you've got to you've got to adjust to close out shooters, but then also close out and don't give up baseline drives or baseline cuts. So, for me, I, I would be making the adjustment to go to a man just to to mix it up for a minute 37 and you know try to dig back into this lead because right now. You know, it's all, all TSS. Offensively, though, they've got to get out and run. They've got to play at pace. They've got to get 
two feet in the paint, get dribble penetration, can't settle for jump shots, but they've got to they've got to attack the defense of TSS and beat this press off scores, which means ideally they've got a middle target and they can attack three on two. Well, as we say, we've got a minute 37 left here in the half. <coughs> stayed high. Drive in. Sassel flips it to himself. Drops it off to Peterson and gets it in off the glass. Strong maneuver from him. Seen a couple of those already. He's been working really hard inside for Brisbane here today. In, a little bit of contact, unblind. Andy Cotton gets himself into the paint. Gibby is going to be pinged for a travel there. Yeah, he knows it, should have let it go. Archie Lister on the free throw line. Oh, sorry, on the baseline, kicks it in, gets us back underway. Get below a minute left here in this first half. Peterson trying to get some space on Bibby. TSS come away with it through McGrath. Kicks back. Drives in. Kicks it out. Around it goes. Ball is up. Missing off to the left. Bibby comes down with it. McGrath with a three ball. Splashes that one. Three points to the arm. 30 seconds left. Nice little behind the back job from Sasser to find Peterson. Almost slightly mistimed as Peterson got his feet caught up. But Peterson will be heading to the free throw line with 20.9 seconds left in the half. Third personal foul for Bibby though. Concern, he's been strong inside for TSS when he's been on the court, but uh, fouls could definitely be a problem. Peterson missing the first. <laughs> Peterson knocks down the second though. 13 point lead currently for TSS. And TSS are going to slow this one down. One last good shot. That'll probably be their plan. Close out the half. Heading to the free throw line will be Indy Cotton. You've got to think he's going to make at least 50% of these, right? He's been rather consistent from the free throw line here today. Probably knocking down about 70% thus far. Makes the first. You'd hope so. It's not, it's, not, uh, it's not something you usually see, Mal, that he misses too many free throws. So, yeah, you'd hope so. As we see him miss another one, I've just jinxed him. I'm glad you said something about it, so. <laughs> That's all. Oh. <coughs> glad you mentioned it, mate. Otherwise, it would have been my uh, my mock on him, so uh, that's all yours. We're going to step away briefly here and take a half-time break. So we step away from this CBSQ gold medal game for the boys' Division 1, and we'll be right back uh, after some short highlights.
and gentlemen, welcome back to the second half of the CBSQ Secondary Junior Grand Final Gold Medal match between Brisbane State High and TSS. Can Brisbane State High avenge the Open's loss they suffered at the hands of TSS or will TSS walk away with both titles here today? Of course, this broadcast is brought to you by Basketball Queensland and, of course, Stream Team AU, which can cover any sport except Quidditch. But, but we think we can probably do Quidditch, but we're, we're just checking into it. A lot of logistical nightmares with that, with that sport. Uh, no, I, s I spoke to Bre Regan before, mate. They, uh, they've invested in broomsticks, so nice. they're able to cover it, mate. Nice. Best in the business. Nice. Which one to get? That's the, always the question. Uh, uh, Brisbane State High... Quickly returning with an extra another two points back. TSS bring the ball up through Ash McGrath. Andy Cotton, a little bit of space at the top. Too much. Go able to get it away. Unable to come down with it was TSS and Peterson does that. Nice spin move through the paint from Peterson. He's going to be fouled by Andy Cotton. On the hands, and he's going to go to the free throw line. He's had a pretty good game thus far, Mr. Peterson. He is, and he has. He uh, he played a role for the for the Opens team uh, for State High, and um, alongside Ro Roman Cialipa. But uh, yeah, probably to be to be fair, and, and probably by his own standards, a little bit quiet this afternoon. Probably haven't seen enough of that, and, and obviously the size and length that uh, TSS presents with the multiple bodies they have, being able to get on the offensive glass made his day a little bit more difficult because you know, he, he's sort of a lone ranger out there in terms of defensive rebounding presence. But, you know, offensively, good to see him get going in transition. I'd like to see him be a post presence and post target a little bit more on the offensive end. But, you know, he, he likes to play on the perimeter as well. So... You know, this is not the opens where he's, you know, matched for size. I think he'd, he's got size enough to go inside and and re really punish his big defenders. We see nice pick and roll, slip. Jaden Cecil with the preferred right hand around the back pass. Yeah, very nice little manoeuvre there for Brisbane State High. Strong screen. Indy Cotton goes to the glass. He hits the deck. Cotton, referees are continuing to let these players play. And that's going to be... It's going to be TSS ball after Jasper Jones stepped back in before he released that ball. Got to get two hands on the ball before he pass back in. Mm -hmm. Baseline ball, TSS. Has to restress that lead once more. Right, going to work. Nice spin move of his own. Gets to the middle of the paint. Peterson, I think that's going to come off him and <coughs> and has TSS ball from the baseline once more. With 13 seconds left on the shot clock. Nice tip there from Cecil, but that's going to be off him. Tried to get away with one. Andy Cotton. Nice little find inside. Couldn't get it to go. Cecil comes away with it. Looks ahead to Peterson, who is open. Pauses, lets the defender hit him, and then he's able to finish through the contact and will get to the free throw line for an extra one. The basket is good and the foul. You like that from State High. They're doing the work on the defensive glass, making it scrappy, getting after it. They understand that the TSS front court is a little bit longer, so they're sending multiple bodies, making it difficult and then pouncing on everything that comes below the head to allow them to get out and run as we see Peterson convert the M1 play. And now all of a sudden it's a nine-point ball game. So State High with the momentum. They've just got to up, continue to up the ante defensively, bring the energy, not give up silly fouls or easy buckets. So we see Ash McGrath with a nice turnaround jumper from the pinch post. And some nice, uh, <coughs> nice spin, half spins, full spins. The full spin cycles have been on show here today. Peterson. And roll. Cecil from right next to where I park my <coughs> Lancer out in the front car park. He's up, 
Missing off the left through multiple sets of hands. Eventually finds Cotton. Cotton finds his way through to the paint. Finds his way to the free throw and after knocking those first two down. Up on the head by Jasper Jones on the way past. It's going to be his third foul as well. Indy does a really good job of initiating contact but also selling contact. Ahead. Read into that uh, rather cryptic comment as much as you need to, the listeners. Oh, mate, look, <laughs> let's call a spade a spade. Like, you know, he's been an elite player. They know how to initiate contact. They know how to sell contact. And sometimes as a referee, you buy into it. And it's just part of it. But, you know, realistically, there's been three head fouls, apparently. So, you know, I just... At a year nine, ten level, with the talent you've got on the floor and the guys you've got on the on the floor, they can play through some contact and let the let the boys become men, so to speak. That's what you want to see, you know. Extremely talented players, let them play a little bit physical. Cecil pushing the wing away, he goes back to the centre. Peterson somehow tracks that down, drives in, can't get it to go, no whistle. To drop off to Archie Lister. He's been fighting really well inside that keyway today. Back around. McGrath into the paint. Let's get it off the glass. Too flat though. Won't go. Sessel with a couple of head shakes of his own. Gets it up. And the free throw line. Josh McGrath's third foul as well. A couple of players now in three on three fouls. We've got uh, Jaden Bibby for TSS as well as McGrath. Cecil knocks that one, uh, first one in on free throw line. One drops as well. McGrath checking in. Checking out, sorry. Cotton brings the ball up over halfway. Lister right there. Spin to the screen. Cotton does a good job there. Faking out Jasper Jones. He shot up. Nice, hand by, nice hands by Eli Murray. Finding Peterson inside, does a nice spin move, draws the contact, can't get the two ball to drop, but we'll head to the free throw line to try and convert there. Next four minutes, 26 here, could play in the favour of Brisbane State High because TSS have put themselves in a situation where they're in the bonus. So State High have a really good opportunity in the 426 to really punish TSS defensively by getting to the foul line and shooting the easy ones but we'll see what they do they've just got to make sure they don't give up cheap ones down the other end so they can keep chipping away at this lead Peterson gets that one to skip in off the front of the rim somehow his head head to Cotton into Peterson a little bit of space on the, after the initial bump Get it to go. He's going come away with it. Shoulder bump to clear the way. No whistle though. Brisbane State High come away with two points. TSA, TSS having some trouble getting the ball over. Do so now. Well, they've taken Ash McGrath off the floor. That's going to be a head foul, I betcha. Oh, I'm not going to take that action, mate. No, nope, it's a hands oh. foul, Mal. It's a hands foul. <laughs> As Indy Cotton finds his way to the free throw line for an extra. Misses the first. And he gets one this time. Bibby tries to put it straight back up. Keeps fighting for it. Peterson's going to come away with it. Kick it out to Lister. Himself looks ahead to Jasper Jones. Surrounded by defenders. Got something up, but it was a bit too strong in the end. 
to the corner. Three ball is up. It's short. Lister comes down with it once more. Transition options being really, really good for State High. Bibby. Two strong defensive plays there, especially for a young man already on three fouls. Almost caught himself in the air there trying to get the ball to Alexander Walker. Kicks it back inside to Bibby though, who's open and finishes off the glass. Two points to Riley Adelman. Sassel. Peterson screens right there. Three balls up. Can't get it to go. Peterson three ball is also up. That doesn't drop either. Alexander Walker. Shortest young man out there comes down with a rebound inside the paint. Andy Cotton out the top. Turns himself open, puts it up, short. Bibby comes down with it, kicks it back to Cotton. Reset on the clock. Into the paint. Gets it to go. Do a quick score check with 2.22 left here in the third quarter. Brisbane State High on 50 points. TSS out to a 14-point lead on 64. Three ball is up. Looks good. Does eventually drop in for Jasper Jones. Needed that, mate. It was, uh, you can see the heads drop a little bit here of the State High team. They've gone back to a zone now. They need to make sure they don't give up anything easy. Get out and run as much as possible. Maybe missing that one. He's going to go the other way with Brisbane State High. So we'll see some subs coming in both ways. Xander Walker is going to sit down for TSS. Jasper Jones uh, and Eli Murray also taking a seat for State High. Scott Harrison is in for State High as well as Antonio Tantino Clamarco for Brisbane. Peterson. Spin cycle is back on. Here we go. Nine point ball game, Mal. See if they can uh, take it to seven. It's been a game of swings. Brisbane State High have been able to fight their way back into this game a couple of times now. TSS have always had the eventual answer. And stretched it back out once more, Goals but Luffridge, third Luffridge picks up his third. And Lister will find his way to the free throw line. Burdett's going to check in for Ryder Lynch. The Southport School. Lister gets that one to go. Second one drops as well. Go once more. Ah, all the way into the paint, finds his way to the glass. Does everything required to get the two points. They didn't read the scouting report. Ash Magara is left-handed. They push the lefty-righty, Peterson. Tries to force one with that right-handed hook. Can't go. Indy Cotton comes away with it quickly. There's Bibby with the finish. Lister. It's Bibby in the air. Shorts the shot, though, and Bibby comes down with it. It's ahead to McGrath. Harrison's trailing but can't get in front. Oh, not enough to alter. McGrath's layup. Two points for TSS. Lister, three ball is up. Three ball is scooch long. McGrath comes down with a nice easy rebound. Lands safely in his hands. That's five seconds in that quarter. It's the elbow. McGrath misses that one. Bibby tracks it down. Gets it back up. Will not drop though. And we find ourselves with a 13-point lead here for TSS going into the fourth quarter, the championship quarter here as part of the CBSQ secondary junior gold medal boys game for Div 1 between Brisbane State High and TSS. Of course, brought to you by 
Basketball Queensland and the amazing people at Stream Team AU. Mate, it's it's clinch time. Brisbane State High. They've got to come back out of this uh, into this fourth quarter, and they've got to come firing all cylinders. What do you what do you need to see? Mate, first and foremost, their body language. Their body language has been up and down. They're riding the roller coaster. You can't be in championship games without the belief that you're going to find a way. And right now, at times, there's guys on the floor who are just dropping their head or putting their hand in their heads. Sorry, head in their hands or just not showing positive body language that says, hey, I want to be here and we're in this fight. I get there's frustration. I get things have gone against you. And I get TSS have had the bounce of the ball. But sometimes, you know, the luck of the bounce goes because you create it rather than you wait for it. And right now, with eight minutes to play here in this junior secondary grand final, here at Coomera, State High need to believe on every possession, no matter which way the ball bounces, it's coming their way. That's the first thing. The second thing for me is their tempo has been much better. They've got to do a better job on both ends of the floor on the glass, but really the tempo has been much better. They've got quicker, better looks in transition. They've just got to up the ante on the offensive and defensive glass as we see Cecil make a nice move to the basket and get the end one but it's got to be effort and energy and then really positive belief in terms of their body language and banding together as a group to say, hey, we're going to throw everything we can at this. Yeah, I think if you look at the bench uh, for Brisbane State High over the last two quarters, most of the noise has been coming from the coaching staff and not the players, and that is, that is problematic uh, at this time. You've really That energy, as you say, has to come from the players. So... Bibby finds himself inside and finishes off for two. There's definitely now or never. Cecil going to work again somehow. Oh, just couldn't get that one to go. Got it up though. Through hands. Long two. This is that one. Bibby tips it out. Tracked down by Brisbane State High though. Lister gets himself to the free throw line. Puts up the one-handed floater. Comes down through Burdett for TSS. Leaves it for McGrath. Gives it to Cotton. Clangs in there. No call on the initial contact. Some has come later. Looks like Peterson. Another head foul. That's going to be Peterson's third. I'm asking the question if I'm state high right now, what happened to Lister? Because he got pulverised as Cotton made a move and he picked the right way and all of a sudden Lister's on the floor out of play and there's a no call. Yeah, Lister seemed to have position. Burdett knocks down the second. 60 points currently for Brisbane State High. 74 for the Southport School. Long two for Peterson. Track down by Morrison. And to Lister. Drives into the paint, gets himself a nice little spot. Can't get it to go. Peterson's right there, though. He cleans up and puts it back in with that left hand off the glass. Close it back down to 12 points with 6.40 left here in the game. Cecil tracks that one down, kicks it ahead to Harrison. Tries to go up. Burdett's right there, tracks down his own rebound twice. Gets it to Lister. Loving that floater game of his today. Gets it up off the glass and gets to go. We're back down to 10 points with 6.20 left in this one. And it starts with a defensive rebound by Cecil. Goes and tracks the ball, hunts the defensive glass, allows Harrison to get out in transition. And now they get loose ball rebounds as we see McGrath get a wide open look. Peterson's getting body down low. He needs to get to work. I don't know if he's carrying an injury or if it's just fatigue, but... The big fella needs to clean up the defensive glass and show his dominance down low. Bibby. Drops in two points for TSS. Peterson plows in there. He's going to be pinged for a travel, and that's going to be coming back the other way. And he looks uncomfortable. He looks uncomfortable. Looked like he might have landed on the ball there, maybe. It's rather uncomfortable. He isn't getting up. Medic needs to be called, please. Thank you so much. He's going to try and shake it off and keep walking. Some pain still on his face. Peterson is going to be subbed out. He was down for a long time. I dare say he will be subbed back in fairly quickly as long as uh, coaches give him the thumbs up. 
First aid's come straight over to just have a quick check on him, see how he's doing. Looks like we're going to need to clean the cord a little bit, a little bit here as well. State high coach is calling for energy from Brisbane. We're going to need to bring it now. Playing small ball. McGrath knocks down a three. Smooth stroke, nothing but net. Crisp snap of the net as well as the ball goes through it. Harrison at the top. Kicks it around. Jasper Jones. There's one way, then the other, then back the other way. Can't get it to go. Lister tracks it down and gets it to go off the glass. He's had himself quite a game of a 24. It's Lister. They just need to slow down. TSS. Get defensive glass. That's a kick ball for sure. And called that way. Here we go. Baseline ball. Brisbane stayed high. 508 here left in the fourth quarter. 13 point lead currently for TSS over Brisbane State High. I can give you an update on Peterson. He is sitting back on the bench now. No longer with first aid. Back on the bench. Next to the coaches. Giving encouragement to his team. So we see Lister on the baseline. Chucks it back in. Harrison's got it. Jasper Jones loses his footing. Holds onto the ball. It's going to be a jump ball with Bibby, but that's going to be possession arrow. It's going to go the other way. And will be with TSS. As we've got a timeout here for Brisbane State High. What's impressed you about this TSS game? The, the way they've played their game today as they look to close this one out with 4.45 and a lead of... 14 points. Composure. They're being composed. They're well drilled. They're well versed in each of their roles. They don't try to do more than what's required of them and they keep it very simple. They play obviously through Indy and Ash McGrath um, and the guys around them know their roles very clearly and go out and perform their roles to a T. So for me it's, it's their ability to execute what they know and that's important for young men at this age is that you know, with the world that it is these days, everyone's got an Instagram highlight or an Instagram reel about how good they are at this, that and the other. But these young men do a really good job of just sticking to what they know, the fundamentals, the basics, rebounding, running the floor, spacing the floor, moving off dribble penetration, making sure they help line, they get into help lines and dribble penetration lines. So for me, it's the composure and the poise of TSS to allow each of them to be who they are and, and not try to do something other than what, they, what they're naturally capable of doing. 4.45 left here in the fourth quarter. This CBSQ secondary junior game. Gold medal game for Div 1. TSS with the lead that has now been extended by that Indy Cotton 3. So that's going to be off Peterson, I believe, and that's going to be TSS ball once more. So out of that timeout, three ball from TSS, then a turnover at the other end from Brisbane. Not the absolute worst uh, thing that could have happened, but close two for them. TSS, McGrath, three ball is up. And Bibby tracks it down off the misconnect. Inside between Jasper Jones. His teammate for Brisbane State High. Harrison looking to go to work. Gets it to Lister, gets it up. Just with that right hand. Cotton ahead to McGrath. And keeps cutting. Kicks inside. But Sam Lothbridge just wasn't quite ready for it. Probably had too many plans rolling around in his head on what he was going to do with it. Before he actually caught it. Cecil going to drive, looking to still be aggressive. Peterson tracks down the miss from Cecil, puts it in for two. TSS now with the ball once more. 15-point lead currently for TSS. We just dip below 3.30. Three balls up, it's down. Looks like Lister is going to be fouled. 
And Sam Lovebridge is going to pick up that foul for TSS. That's going to be his third as well for the day. Mister on the sideline. Into Cecil. Cecil into Peterson. Bridge kicks it back in. Peterson tracks it down. Another spin move. Aggressive in and around the rim. Gets it to go. And right down the other end. Cotton. Doing what he's done well all day. It's finishing inside. Bibby. Going to work. Inside McGrath's going to finish that off. The contact. Called. Ref saying a bit of flopping. Cecil has that ball knocked away by Walker. Kicks ahead to Indy Cotner who goes upstairs for another one. No, he's being pinged for a travel. Going to be pinged for a travel first. We have a timeout. stay high. As we see a timeout now being called for Brisbane State High. 18 point lead for TSS. Could, could have been 20, but waved away by, <coughs> excuse me, waved away by referee in the end. 2.41 left in this one. TSS in a commanding, uh, commanding position here, mate. Very much so, mate. Very much so. And, uh, yeah, for the viewers at home, I don't know. I just don't know. But that's just me. I, I, I just don't know. Sometimes I don't have the answer. I don't understand it. I don't claim to know it all. But in that situation, I don't know. Indy Cotton got a clear steel breakaway, and that was a dunk. As simple as that. But, yeah, TSS have been exceptional. As I said at the three-quarter time, or the last time out, their composure, their poise, their ability to play, within themselves but within their roles most importantly Mal has been the thing that's allowed them to get to where they want to get to um, and they've built on this 18, 18 point lead over the course of that three quarters step by step and to, to their credit State High have rallied and made runs at them but it just hasn't been consistent enough and there hasn't been enough intensity to it the they, second quarter they went after them a little bit and that, that was good to see but they just haven't been able to maintain it and I don't know if that's fatigue or if that's just style of play but you know you're going to be a champion team and win win a championship you've got to be able to maintain that intensity maintain that consistency in terms of your execution on both ends of the floor and right now you give up 88 points in a in a four by eight minute game and that that question is asked of how good your defense it is. And that's going to be Archie Lister checking out of this one He's had himself quite a good game for Brisbane State High. Hold your head up, young fella. This didn't go your way today, but you put in a heck of an effort. And we fouled out with 2.25 left here in the game. To assess, bring it up over halfway through Cotton. And the bike gets the ball up, drops it in off the paint. Excuse me, drops it in. Clear blue sky. No board or anything needed. Three ball is going up. It's just missing a little bit off to the right there for Jaden Rogers. Sassel going to shake off defenders. Gets enough space after the drive, jump stop, and pump fake to get his shot to go. 18 point lead though is still the deficit. The Brisbane State High left with. Make that 20 point deficit for Brisbane State High as TSS continue to extend this lead as it comes down to the final moments here of this game. Again, contact in the air by Bibby. That's going to be his fourth, I believe. The points do count. Foul is on number 11 for TSS. Riley. He's going to find Eli Murray on the free throw line. Yes, that is four now for Bibby. We see some subs checking in. We see Riley Oberman and James Burdett checking in for TSS as James Luffbridge and Alexander Walker will take a rest. Uh, free throw misses off the front. It's up again. Slapped away by Cotton. Back to Riley Oberman. 
Cotton once more. Bibby, nice find from Cotton. Nice finish from Bibby. But, uh, in the fourth quarter here, Cotton and Bibby have been working quite well together inside. Passive hands there. Jasper Jones is going to find himself heading to the free throw line. Three, <laughs> Jasper Jones misses the first. Don't adjust your headsets, guys. It is genuinely that quiet in here. It's very, very quiet. Here is TSS to close this one out. McGrath not drops that one in. Brisbane High continue to get the ball up. Trying to, really trying to push on the offensive end. The glass, Peterson there. Can't get that one to go. Track down. Travel will be called on that one. It's going to be TSS ball from the side as TSS are going to sub out, sub out Cotton and McGrath. Let some of their bench players get some minutes here in this one, or some moments, I should say, as we are now under a minute. A minute left here in this gold medal game here at the CBSQ Junior Secondary Championship Div 1. And swatted away by Jasper Jones. Peterson is up ahead. Going to go up and make a business decision and finish off the glass. Big tournament here for the big fella. 20-point lead as we go into the last 20, point, 20 seconds. Bibby for three. Missing that one off to the right. Ryder Lynch comes down with it. Ryder Lynch comes down with it. He's going to hold on to the ball is James Burdett. And that's going to close this one out. And there it is. Your CBSQ Secondary Junior Champions. Just like in the Opens game, it's going to be TSS, the Southport School, taking this one out. Uh, until that last, uh, last couple of minutes, this, this was a back and forth game for a good chunk of this one. Yeah, it was, and uh, ultimately, you know, TSS putting up almost 100 points in 32 minutes of basketball demonstrates their level of uh, execution and ability on both ends of the floor. Primarily offensively, they've got weapons and they've got guys who, as I said earlier on the broadcast, accept their roles and also, you know, play, play well around guys like Indy Cotton and Ash McGrath, but... You know, for me, it was an incredible performance by TSS who, you know, had way too much in terms of legs and energy and just executed way too too, too effectively here at uh, at the CBSQ Junior Secondary Championship. But, uh, Mal, it's been an absolute pleasure to call these finals with you, mate. I'm going to hand it back over to you. But, uh, mate, I hope we can do it again in two weeks for the, uh, for the CBSQ Sophomore championships here in two weeks time yep mate i'll be here i'll be here for sure so let's uh, let's do it let's lock it in for uh Coomera, home of the home of your seahawks of course but uh look that will close it out and uh yeah tss coming away the victors as you can see on your screen getting the uh getting their celebratory photo taken they are the winners here in the open and now the juniors that's going to close us up here for the cbsq Secondary junior finals here on this Boys Div 1 gold medal game. Big thank you, of course, to Basketball Queensland and, of course, to Stream Team AU, which can do all of your sporting uh, streaming needs. They can take care of you. Uh, we've, we've all heard from the man, Regan Baker himself. Quidditch is also possible, so there's nothing they can't do. A big thanks to Jordan. And that's going to wrap us up here. Thanks again for tuning in and we'll hope to see you all next time.